Did you click on this video expecting to see a closet bursting at the seams with clothes all over the floor? Uh uh, I wouldn't be caught dead doing that. Hi guys, it's Glory here, a slow fashion blogger who is also mildly OCD. By OCD, I mean neat freak, not the actual medical condition. Please don't take this literally. Today, I am organizing my closet with you guys. It is said that organizing the physical aspects of your life can also bring you mental clarity. So we'll see about that. And while I'm organizing my closet, I'm also going to shop my own closet. I think this is a great exercise we can all do before we plan to shop for anything new. At this point, most of the items I have in my closet are things that I'm pretty happy with, even though there may or may not be some funky pieces in there. Um, I definitely do feel like there's still something missing in my wardrobe, but in order to decide what exactly it is that I'm missing, I need to rediscover what I already have before I rush out to buy a whole bunch of random new things. Now, let's get on the couch or the bed and get to work. The first step to organizing your closet is to have an action plan. How many clothes do you have? How big is your closet? Do you need any extra supplies like hangers and storage boxes? And how do you plan to arrange them? All right, this is the current state of my closet. Dun dun dun! Ta-da! I know, it's already looking pretty neat. <laughs> and did I just turn on the light beforehand. <laughs> yes, I did. As you can see, I have a small to medium sized closet and my clothes only fill up half of it. So I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, I have some more in the closet in the other room, but not too much. They're just sitting here for now. I'm gonna move them today. I definitely have more than enough room in this closet. The only thing with this closet is that it has a lot of hanging space, but barely any shelving. I do prefer hanging all my clothes because that way I can clearly see what I have, but not all your clothes should be hung, especially your sweaters, since they can easily change shape. So the sweaters will go on the shelf. Other than that, things like gym clothes, thermal underwear, and pajamas will also go on the shelf. Basically, things I'm not gonna wear outside. Yes, I don't go out in my gym clothes, I'm not North American enough to do that, and let's keep it that way. As for the hanging space, I'm planning to arrange everything by category and by color. It basically means I'm going to hang all my tops together from light to dark, and the same thing goes for other categories. I think this is very practical because you can clearly see how many items you have in each category, and it's still relatively color-coordinated, hence aesthetically pleasing. As for my underwear, socks, and swimsuits, I keep them in these storage boxes. I actually keep most of my bags and shoes in the closet at the entrance and some more bags and hats on this coat rack. This space is mainly for my clothes only and this is what I'm organizing today. Before we jump into organizing, I want to quickly mention that when we shop for clothes, we might not keep our realistic lifestyle in mind and we tend to buy clothes that look pretty but don't really fit our lifestyle. Well, ideally, I would like to be attending the Oscars every day, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna happen. A well-rounded closet should be tailored to your particular lifestyle. For example, how much time you spend at work or at school, going out, staying at home, working out, and so on. I know something's missing in my closet because every time I need to go for a quick grocery run, I find myself staring at my closet for 10 minutes because I have nothing to wear. I either have fancy clothes or gym clothes and nothing in between. Well, maybe just one or two pieces. So I already know I need some more casual clothes if I were to purchase anything new. Alrighty. Once you've analyzed and assessed the current situation of your wardrobe, step two is to take everything out so that you can go through them piece by piece. If you have too many clothes, just do it by season because otherwise you go crazy. This is also the perfect chance to do a closet clean out if you want to see if there's anything that doesn't work for you anymore. I've done a major closet clean out a few months ago, so I'm not going to focus too much on that. All right, now I'm going to take everything out because I have nothing better to do with my life. Sorry, bed. You have to take all the crushing weight of my life decisions. Okay, now my closet is all empty and everything is laid out on my bed. 
I know, it's looking like a shit show right now. Not acceptable, Gloria. Not acceptable. Since I've decided to arrange everything by category and by color, I'm going to start with my first category, which is my tops, if I can find them in this big pile of mess. Within the tops category, I'm going to start with the lightest color, which is the white, and arrange them by length from the shortest to the longest. Now I'll repeat the same process for other colors. As I've mentioned before, I'm putting my sweaters on the shelf because I'm not supposed to hang them. Here are all my tops! At first glance, it'll look like I have less tops than I actually do because I put all my sweaters on the shelf. This is something I need to keep in mind before I tell myself, oh, I don't have enough tops. Now let's do the same thing for bottoms. This includes my shorts, skirts, and pants. Now let's move on to dresses. Oh, let me try this on. Sorry, got distracted there. Um, let's move on to outerwear. I'm going to group all my jackets and winter coats in this category. And voila, the hanging space is now nice and neat. I don't understand how I managed to fill it up. Maybe because I'm hanging everything now instead of folding them. For the shelving area, I'm going to put the remaining things on there, including my pajamas, gym clothes, and etc. Um, I'm actually losing light now because we're approaching the evening. I'm just going to do this boring part on my own and save you from the pain. Good morning! Let me present you my newly organized closet. Dun 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 dun! The left side is for my tops. The middle on the left is for the dresses. Starting from the middle all the way to the right is for my outerwear. And the right side is for the bottoms. On the shelf, I have my pajamas and thermal underwear on the left. All my knitwear are in the middle. I cleared out some space for some of my hats, scarves, and gloves. On the right, I have my gym clothes and baseball caps. I still have some space left here. I think I can save this space for some casual wear. <sighs> my OCD self is very satisfied right now. And I do feel that I'm more in love with my wardrobe than ever because of how organized it is. I only found three items that I don't see myself wearing again. I might find some more in the future, but this is not my focus at the moment. As I was going through all my clothes, I definitely realized that most of my clothes are on the dressy side because that's the style I like. However, since I'm not going to be dressed up on a daily basis, I do need some basic and casual pieces to balance it out. I also realized that I have a change in taste when it comes to dresses. As you saw from yesterday's random dancing episode, um, some of the dresses are a little bit extra. Um, but realistically, I'm probably not going to be wearing them. So I'm considering maybe reselling some of those. And in the future, I'll opt for something that's a little bit more understated and suitable for everyday wear. Well, I guess the moral of the story is I'm not as extra as I used to be. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed myself. Thanks for going along for the ride. I hope this inspires you to organize your own closets too. As always, I will see you guys again next week.